everyone, Nick Van Dutch here with another video and today we are gonna talking about buying a used iPhone. So if you just bought one on Marketplace or somewhere else, you come home, you try to do the factory reset but you can't proceed because it is asking for the Apple ID of the previous owner. So when they don't want to help you, you actually really get stuck with the iPhone and you can't use it anymore. So. It's the 5s or the 6 or the 6s it doesn't matter because this one is an iOS issue so today in this video I'm gonna talking about how to prepare for yourself before you buying an iPhone and you checked everything already that this iPhone you like to buy doesn't have an iCloud lock on it so before we get the video started hit that like button around here I think hit that one subscribe to my channel if you're new you done? Let me see. Three, two, one. Okay, let's start the video. So with the iPhone in your hands that you would like to buy, you are checking out does this iPhone is signed in with an Apple ID or somebody else. So when you unlock the screen, there's no passcode, that's okay. And you're going to general. No, I'm not. I'm going to iCloud and you press that button and you can see here nobody has signed in at the moment. So that's uh, the only sign you need to know that this device currently don't have any um, Apple ID signed in. So you can restore it, you can do everything. So it's clear and good to buy. But if the seller not giving you the IMEI number or the serial number, you can do it on spot. That's not a problem at all. So I can show you here where to find your IMEI number and the serial number. So you go to general and about, scroll a little bit down and here you can see the IMEI number and the serial number. So you can copy one of these it doesn't matter so for the first one we actually going to do the IMEI number so you copy this one and you move to this website so you're going to this website iphoneox.com the link is down below in the description and you want to paste your IMEI number that you just copied from your phone and you can paste it in here you hit that uh, verify button click on some pictures from some security check and hit the check button So we are waiting at the moment and it's been loading finished. So here you can see the IMEI number that you just entered. And here you can also see the serial number. So you can get this number and compare it to the serial number inside the iPhone and does it uh, match with each other. So you can here also see the product, uh, uh, product description about the iPhone, what kind of iPhone do you have and how much storage does it have. So you can also see here some a little bit of information about the warranty and how, to, uh, how old this iPhone is after it uh, left the factory. So the most important thing about finding out does this iPhone has an iCloud lock on it, you go to this website, it's iCloud.com slash activation lock and here you go, this is the website, you fill in out your serial number or your IMEI number, so in this case I'm using the IMEI number again, you got some security check again and after that you hit the continue button, after that it will verify and Apple will tell you does this iPhone has an activation lock, so it already says it's activation lock, so if it does has a lock you can't use it, the iCloud is still active, the previous owner that signed in with their Apple ID didn't sign out, so this is the confirmation. If you are in distance or if you are at the seller by yourself, it will verify for you. In this case, it's off, so it's good to go. You can buy this iPhone without any problems. And we're going to the Apple website to verify our warranty. You hit that support uh, button at the top right corner. So you scroll a little bit down to repair and warranty and hit that check your warranty button. And when you do so, it's the same uh, drill like uh, the last step. You fill out your serial number or your IMEI number. In the link down below, you can see here how to find your serial number. So if you still don't know 
where to find your serial number or your IMEI number hit that link so it will explain to you where to look for so again uh, fill in some security code and hit that continue button after that Apple will show you about the services support coverage about this iPhone right now in your hands uh, with the EMI or the IMEI number or serial number that you're checking with so it says that it has a valid purchase date telephone technical support is still active and also the report and service coverage is also still being coverage uh, uh, sorry active till September 4 2017 so if you have any problems with the iPhone, you can also set up a repair from here. There you have it. So let's wrap things up. Be sure to ask for the IMEI number and the serial number of the seller and check on the three websites I just showed you on. So I really do my information helps you out to buy an iPhone without an iCloud lock on it so you can enjoy your new iPhone. So thanks for watching, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, it will really help me out and i see you on the next video. My name is Nick van Dutch. Wherever I go, wherever I see, I'll remember you, if you remember